Hey guys, in today's episode, I'm going to be reviewing the Electro Harmonics East River Drive Overdrive Pedal. Stay tuned. What is up you guys? It's your boy Luis Torres again and today I will be reviewing the Electro Harmonics East River Drive Overdrive pedal but before I get into it huge shout out to Gary Knoll in Pennsylvania who reached out to me after seeing my video where I kind of mentioned that I am looking for a bunch of overdrive pedals to try out and he's like hey listen I have an overdrive pedal that I don't necessarily use I'll ship it to you and you can keep it. So Pennsylvania is my favorite state because of guys like Patrick, like guys like David, and of course like Gary, who went ahead and was nice enough to ship me this. And uh, I will be using it because this pedal is an absolute beast. So here's one of the things that I kind of have noticed lately with overdrive pedals is that at some point, a lot of these companies jumped on the bandwagon. And when I say jumped on the bandwagon, I'm talking about here's Electro Harmonics, here's the Maxon Extreme, here's the regular Maxon OD808, here is the Maxon Keeley, uh, here's the uh, <laughs> the full tone OCD. What else do I have over here? My Boss Super Overdrive. You know, it's definitely one of those things where there was clearly a demand, there was money in it, and companies just jumped on it because why wouldn't you, right? That's business is, hey, look what's popular now. We need to get on it. So for the most part, I hate to say or even allude to the fact that they're all the same, uh, which they're not, but they're in the same ballpark. So that being said, the only... The only thing I can kind of, uh, as an example to throw at you is think of all of the uh, tire makers in the automobile industry and they clearly realized, hey, we need to make tires for these cars. And Michelin jumped in and Firestone jumped in. And in the end, they're all tires. So they're all going to be in that ballpark, round, made of rubber, they made money because there's a demand. Uh, <laughs> so with all that, you have to understand that they all are slightly different from the next. Some are a little tighter. Some just tighten the frequency just a little bit. Some have a little extra drive. Some, when you crank the drive, is just at another level of the game. So for the most part... There's a reason why I'm not doing a shootout with overdrive pedals. For me personally, I feel like you guys, the audience, you're not necessarily going to hear the major difference. Not that you wouldn't, but for the most part, you're going to be like, dude, thanks, Lewis. What you're saying is all of these pedals are kind of the same. Yeah, <laughs> they totally are. Uh, especially with the last few days, you know, I'm, I'm trying to... I'm using different overdrive pedals thinking that each one is going to be this dramatic difference from the last, you know, four that I, uh, that I uh, ran through and they're not, you know, like a lot of more than anything, the issue that you guys are going to run into is finding a, an overdrive pedal that works with the amplifier that you're using. Because if you have something like the Mesa Rectifier that are high gain, but the tone frequency is very, um, it's just a lot of flub. It's, it's not, it's just a loose frequency. So you need something to tighten it. 
But that being said, what do you like as the consumer with regard to your final ultimate tone? So I'm going to be using the Electro Harmonics uh, running out uh, or run, playing my Jackson uh, Professional uh, Dinky, which is a 1993 model. And the bridge pickup, which is what I'll be using, is the Seymour Duncan dime bag. So, you know, here's a high gain amp with an absolutely incredible overdrive with a uh, with an industry wide known um, bridge pickup that has been around for ages at this point. So hopefully you guys will hear it, like it, not like it, whatever. <laughs> I'll have actually a, a bunch of videos. You can decide which one you like. Uh, so let me plug this guy in and we'll have a listen. So with this pedal, along with all of them, I'm basically going to be using them as a boost pedal. So volume, tone, uh, tone I'll actually have that at three o'clock. Volume will be maxed and drive will be at zero. Uh, and I'll start with just the uh, Mesa rectifier by itself for you know, two bars or so, and then I'll flip this on and you can hear uh, the difference. So let me go ahead and uh, plug this. Drive overdrive pedal 
Uh, it's actually a really incredible pedal. Uh, and if you were to go ahead and dial back some of your gain and use the drive to power your um, your front load, then you're golden. Dude, that thing is absolutely incredible. And I want to say they sell for about 100 bucks. So for 100 bucks, as long again as you have a uh, high gain amp, you're going to be completely golden. You're going to love it. And stick, stick around. I'm actually going to have more videos today with a few other overdrive pedals and if you're watching this and you have an overdrive pedal that i do not have at the moment then shoot me an email lewis torres at gmail.com let me know which one you have i'll let you know if i have it already and hopefully you guys will go ahead and decide which one is best for you but i'll tell you this much you better go ahead and hit the subscribe button jerk face yeah! All right, guys, thank you so much for watching. Uh, and as usual, I will talk to you guys soon.